Hi guys, Kevin here. It's Monday and for an easy dinner tonight, I'm going to roast some cabbage, some apples, and some pork chops on a single sheet pan. Let's head outside and I'll show you the cabbage. And here's the cabbage. Cut it with a knife and then I will clean this up and meet you back in the kitchen. And here is the cabbage all cleaned up. I had to remove a lot of the outer leaves. And by the way, this is a Savoy cabbage and the leaves are lacy and gorgeous. I'm going to cut it in half and then shred it. And see this core? You want to cut that out like so. And then I'm going to shred it. I'll just shred some of it and then I'll finish the rest of it off camera because I don't think you need to watch me shred an entire head of cabbage. So I'll come right back. Then put the shredded cabbage, isn't this lovely, on a sheet pan. And also uh, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And give the cabbage a nice drizzle of olive oil. Let me adjust the camera. You can't even see this. I'll raise you up. There we go. That should work. Here's the olive oil. Extra virgin. Just a drizzle. And then Use your hands to massage the cabbage so that every little strand or every wedge is slick with oil. That will help it to, the oil will help the cabbage to caramelize in the oven. Then let me grab a towel and dry my hands for this next step. Throw some salt onto the cabbage, along with a few grinds of black pepper. And then give it another little mix. And then we have to fetch a couple of apples. Alrighty, and here are the apples. I've already cored them. These are gala apples. It's apple season here in the Northeast. So we have lots of great apples that we can get at local orchards. So cut the apples in half and then cut each half into quarters and throw them onto the baking sheet so they can join the cabbage. Cabbage and apples are a great partnership. In case you've never tried that partnership. And here we go, one more. Fortunately, we did not have to peel the apples. These apples are too pretty to peel. Look. It's a shame we have to cook this. Add some olive oil to the apples, along with a little salt. And you guessed it, a little pepper. I'll tell you, apples and salt and pepper also go really well together. And then I'm going to pop this into the 
preheated oven. Again, that's 425 degrees, uh, just to give the apples and cabbage a head start. I'll let them cook for exactly 10 minutes. Be right back. And here are the cabbage and apples after 10 minutes of roasting. They look really lovely. They smell great too. So I'm going to set this aside and then we have to prepare the pork chops. And what I have here are some center cut pork chops, which were a true bargain. <coughs> hey, Avery, uh, $3 and six cents for four of them. And you could actually do more than four. You could do six because six will certainly fit on this baking sheet. And I'm arranging mine on a sheet of wax paper and wipe my hands. And then I'm going to wash my hands because you should always wash your hands after you've handled pork. And I have put some Dijon mustard in a bowl. And I put it, the mustard in a bowl because you do not want to move a spoon from the jar of mustard onto a pork chop and then back into the jar. Or you can contaminate your jar of mustard. So use a bowl. And then put about a tablespoon of mustard on each pork chop. And again, these are center cut pork chops. They're about an inch thick. And then coat them with, I'm going to use a little spoon. Coat them with some salt. I'm using kosher salt. And some pepper. and some time. And where did my time go? Where has my time gone? Hang on, I have to find my time. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Why, that time was right in front of me. <laughs> Last place I'd look. And sprinkle, oh, a nice pinch on each pork chop. And that's it. Then let me make some room here. Grab your sheet pan and make more room. Again, this is not the Food Network. If it was, this would be heavily edited and everything would go really smoothly and set the pork chops on top of the cabbage and betwixt and between the apple wedges, like so. And I have to wash my hands, just hold on. This is real life, people. I'm letting you hear me wash my hands. and dry your hands. And then this will go into the oven, still at 425 degrees for 20 minutes or until the thickest part of each pork chop registers 145 degrees Fahrenheit when tested with a thermometer. So I'll come back when everything's roasted. And here is our finish roasted cabbage, pork chops, and apples. As you can see, let me grab a fork. The cabbage has nicely caramelized here and there. Let me hold that up to the camera so you can see. And everything looks good. I've tested the pork chops and they are around 
145 to 150 degrees, so 20 minutes was just right. I'm going to let this cool for about five minutes so the juices in the pork chops can recede, and then I will plate it up and have a little taste test for you. The taste test. Although I've made this sheet pan dinner so many times, I already know it's going to be wonderful. A little pork. Mm. It's juicy and wonderful. And I love the Dijon mustard on top. Now a bit of apple. Soft, but not too soft, and definitely sweet. Mm. And some cabbage. I'll twirl it around my fork like spaghetti. I made long ribbons when I cut up the cabbage. Mm. Crunchy and wonderful. Let me adjust the camera so I can talk with you. You guys, I hope you'll give this sheet pan dinner a try. It's so easy to do, and it's really perfect for a chilly fall evening. And thanks for spending time with me today. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you'll post a comment below, and I hope you will please give this recipe a nice big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, probably tomorrow. I'm thinking of making some spice cookies, so I hope you'll join me then. Bye for now.